good glow gang welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a story time on how i sprained my ankle okay so this is what had happened all right so my cousins had came down they live in new york and you guys remember when i went to new york well, so when we went to New York this summer, May and around May, I have that whole vlog on my channel if you want to watch like what I did in New York and all that stuff. Oh, we went to New York and I did. I was not able to meet them. I mean, I knew some of my cousins, but I wasn't able to meet like them again. If that makes sense. So I knew, I knew their dad. I knew her dad, and I don't know if she wants me to use her name. So we're gonna call my cousin cousin so okay okay so i did not meet cousin but i met her sister cousin one okay i met her sister cousin one and i met her dad and that was it and i didn't meet her little brother so like a couple of days before my grandma was talking about how my cousin's gonna come down here and like how they're gonna be staying at my house and that's normally what happens when people come down they usually come and stay at my house or like another house but most of the time it's my house so i was i wasn't really bugging i mean i never met her so boy before so i was a little excited i was a little nervous because she's the same age as my brother and they had they came down like around six o'clock in the morning and that was on it wasn't winter break but it was, I didn't have school that day. I did not have school that day. I forgot why. It, but I did not have school Thursday or Friday. So, I want to say it was like a teacher work day or something. And that's why I didn't have school. So, like, they come around 6. I was already up because Wednesdays we're supposed to be doing work, but we just don't have to attend class. There's no class on Wednesday. So I was already up and I was doing my schoolwork, you know, trying to catch up my work. And so they came and knocking at the door and they came over and and um then I have a bike and I have not ridden my bike since sixth grade. I'm in 10th grade. So it's been four years. Okay. Now, listen to that part because that is very important. So if you need to rewind, rewind, because that is very important to the story. Okay. So they, she had brought her bike down from New York. Now I have an uncle and that's like, that's her uncle too, of course. And I have an uncle and when he comes down from New York, he brings his bike and he lets me ride it. He, he used to let me ride it. And that was like around sixth grade. So that's when I was like really riding my bike around this, around our little block and stuff. So she had like never ridden her bike not ridden this bike like because it was like cold in new york or something like that some so there was some reason why she didn't ride her bike around the city because her mom wouldn't let her or she would only let her like go down the block or something like that so because it's country like there's not that many like well it's not country but it's not as like fayetteville's not country but it's not our neighborhood is not like the best neighborhood, but it ain't the worst like, for her to ride it. And I was like, and since she didn't know where she was going, I was going to have to ride with her. Now, at first I was a little opposed to this because I had not ridden my bike since I don't know when. Like if you really sat here and asked me and put a gun to my head and said, you have to tell me when's the last time you rode your bike, i will be dead, deceased, no longer here dead so you know my little motor skills with that bike was not the best but i thought i was just gonna have to like walk with her and just and it was like starting to get cold okay it was starting to get cold all right so like and i had just woken up remind you so they were like my her dad and my uncle was like we're gonna fix we're gonna fix your bike like a neighbor na a neighbor was gonna fix my bike up because it had like a flat tire or something and I didn't really ride it anymore. So they was like, we're going to fix your bike and then you're going to ride with your cousin around the neighborhood and just like, yeah, that's what you're going to do. 
So during that time, I was talking to her. She would come like in and out of my room and I was just like taking a shower. I took a shower and I put on my clothes. I didn't really do anything to my hair. I had just woken up and plus I was just going around my neighborhood. So I didn't really care. So this was the first day she came here and we had we rode to my best friend's house and that's like literally around the corner for me like i could walk to her house if i really wanted to so we like went over there and we like went to like a lot of different places we went over there then we went i showed her the hills okay i showed her the hills in the back of my neighborhood if you know where i live which most people don't but like if you know my neighborhood and you see me walk around the neighborhood you know what heels i'm talking about okay so i showed her the heels of my neighborhood and she was like oh my god these heels are so steep this is so much fun da -da 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 -da. and you know we were bonding and i was just trying to be like a good cousin because you know i have to get out of my room something with her and we read a, we rode around the neighborhood i don't know why i want to say red so bad but yeah so i showed her the heels okay so the next day which there's there's two stories and there's one story, but I got scammed out of a hair appointment the next day because I sprained my ankle. But I, I that's I'm gonna give y'all that story is probably gonna be like another video because I would have to fit so much into this one video and it would be too much and it would be very hard to understand fully and like really get my point. So we're gonna do the sprint that was the first day we rolled around the neighborhood and then she slept in my bed and her little brother was like really cute but he really wasn't messing with nobody he was acting stingy <laughs> he was acting really mean so i so we just sat in the bed and we would just watch videos and then she asked me can, can we go riding tomorrow and i was like okay so yeah that's fine as long as so the next day she was like, can we go ride around the neighborhood? And I was like, yeah, yeah, like, why not? But I had a hair appointment, so I was like, we're just gonna have to go like early and we're just gonna have to go like before my mom gets home. Okay, so that was the plan, that was that was the plan. Okay, so we're riding around the neighborhood. At first I was like, I don't wanna go down any hills because the hills in my neighborhood are very steep. So it's very hard to get back up them hills and it's very hard to ride up them hills. Well, it was very hard for me because girl, Mm -mm. I'm 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 out of shape. I'm out of shape. I but going up. I w I wish my neighborhood had like a full circle so that you wouldn't have to go fully up the hills and you could just go down the hill and just like ride around. But it does, but it doesn't. Cause let me explain. Okay, so there's a circle. My neighborhood is so I live here. And if you go to like this way and go to the back and come around, that's a circle, right? But the hill that we were going down were like right here. But half the circle is cut off. Does that make sense? I'm going to write it down so I can explain it better. Because I don't know if you guys understand. <laughs> and you're going to have to understand to understand how I hurt myself. Okay. I do not. Okay. So. This is my house. It says my house. Okay. So. The day we went. The second day when I had the hair appointment. We went riding. The steep hills. Because I didn't want to go on the steep hills. So there's a way for you in my neighborhood for you to go around, okay? But the steep hills are in in that like area. Of course there's houses and stuff, but but the steep hills are in that area. So what had happened was <laughs> we had only gone around and I showed her the hills. So of course she was like you know, this is okay, but can we go down the hills? And I was like, okay, that's fine. But we can only down, go down a couple. Because it takes a very minute, takes a good minute for me to get back. 
So during this little circle back thing, oval thing, I don't know what, what that is. There's like little cul-de-sacs, not cul-de-sacs, cause I live in a cul-de-sac, but not cul-de-sacs, but um, different blocks right beside each other. And one has a cutoff and one doesn't, okay? Okay. One neighborhood has like a dead end. So if you ride your bike over there and you like go the wrong way, you're going to make a dead end. And the other one has, doesn't have a dead end and you can make it right back to my house. Okay. So we were right in the middle between that dead end and where you can make it right back to my house. Okay. Okay. So we go down. I was like, this is our last hill. Cause we got to get back to the house. Okay. Okay. We have to get back to the house. I was like, cause I have to like, I think I need, I was about to, I don't remember if I already washed my hair for the hair appointment or I was about to, I think I was about to, because my hair was not done. I went outside with a scarf on the day before when I first showed around neighborhood, my hair was like this, but the day after, I was like, no, we just gonna, we just gonna go out. And so, we start riding around and we go to that hill that she wanted to roll down because it was very deep and it was very steep. Okay, so some little kids see us and of course they want to go with us. So, I was like, okay, yeah, you guys, we're like, yeah, you guys can ride with us or whatever, 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 that's fine. And, um, so we let them ride. I'm sorry, you're shaking. This is like really bothering me, y'all. So that happened and we go down the hill. Now let me explain because, all right, so there's four people. The road was not that, like, it's not a two-way road. It's only, unless your car is very small, cause I've seen people go, but your car has to be like, there's no way that two big trucks could go back and forth. Okay. Okay. So what happens is my mom, so it's four of us. So like I said, this street's not that big. So they had already like, we all went off at the same time. And there's four of us going down one road. And we all said that we're going to turn this way. Okay. Okay. But as we started going down the hill, it wasn't enough room on that road, like I said. So I was behind them. So they couldn't see me. Because there wasn't enough room and I didn't want to fall that way. Okay, okay. So now our the hill is like this. It's not just a straight down hill. The you can either go left or right. And they were all planning on going left. But I went to the right. Okay. Now I try to stop. I'm trying to stop. I'm trying to stop. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. <laughs> it's not stopping. And at this point, I'm getting scared. So I pass. Okay. So there's this abandoned house. And like, I guess somebody's renovating about to move in into it. I don't know. I don't live right there. Um, let me remind you. I live on the na two neighborhoods next. Well, it, we're all in the same neighborhood, but I live like one block down or two cul-de-sacs down from that area. So, and I don't really go outside like that. I used to when we first moved into the house, but I don't do that anymore. So keep that in mind. All right. So. This is when I realized I was going to get hurt. I can't stop the bicycle. And it passes the truck in the house. Okay. Like, you know, when people park outside of their house, outside of their house. Well, I know that this wasn't nobody's house. This was probably like a construction truck or like somebody that's selling the house or somebody who just left the house and left the truck there. So I passed the truck and... Our houses in this neighborhood usually have like 
it's not a garage because it's outside but there's like two bars like right next to each other and then the house is on this side and then there's this space where you can pull in your car but he but the car wasn't right here the car was pulled out like way back here so here i come like I, I didn't scream but and here's one of the bars me and the bike hit the bar i closed my eyes when i when i saw myself about to hit that bar i just closed my eyes and i opened them and there's this little boy and he's like are you okay are you okay are you okay and i'm like huh and i and i just started crying because like a rush full of pain just hit hit the mess out of me. My butt hurts, my ankle hurts, my back hurts because my whole body. I'm guessing my body swung forward and hit the bar, and then the bike just fell under me. So when I I don't want to say I woke up because I didn't I I wasn't in a sleep, but I don't remember. I I remember them pulling the bike from under me. But I do not remember me like crashing into the pole. Does that make sense? Like I don't like I closed my eyes and when I woke up I was on the ground. So <laughs> I don't have a good history with bikes. But anyway. So yeah, I wake up, I'm on the ground, my legs are wrapped around the pole, and there's this lady screaming at me. And she's like can you walk? Can you walk? And she's yelling. She's yelling. And she's like, and she's like, you have to move your leg. And I was like, I was, and I was like, I think it's broken. And I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. And I was, I'm crying. I'm crying. And I was like, oh my God, I think, I think, I think my leg's broken. I think my foot's broken. I think it's broken. I think it's broken. And she's like, you need to move your leg. You need to move your leg away from the pole because it was like, my foot was like wrapped around the pole. So she was like, you need to move your leg. And I was like, I'm, I can't like it hurts it hurts it hurts really bad like I can't move my leg and she's like you have to move your leg and she's being really really mean like she was yelling she was being really really mean like I, I, I can't even yell as loud as she was yelling I don't think if I tried my hardest I could yell as loud as she was yelling just know she was louding she was yelling very loud to the point where like people started coming out of their houses okay and there was this one guy and he was trying to help me because he saw me swing into the bar and she was she has such a bad attitude to the point where she like i was like i need help getting up and the man was helping me get up and i was on the ground and he was helping me get off the concrete helping me get off the ground but i was right next to a slab of concrete because they had that little most times it's not most times the way our houses are set up in the neighborhood you have like they put the poles in the grass and the dirt, and then they put a slab of concrete for the car. So I had one leg on concrete, one leg on grass. And the leg around grass was, ooh. what is that? The leg wrapped in the dirt was the one that was sprained and it still is like, it ain't fully healed. <laughs> so she's yelling, she's yelling, she is yelling. And I and I'm just crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. And she's like, "Where do you live? Like, where's your parents?" And it's not. And it's not that she wasn't trying to help. It was just how loud she was yelling and how rude she was being was not helping. Like, if you were gonna do that, you might as well have not helped in the first place. Because I know I'm not like a child, not like a little child, but at the same time, I'm still underage and I really don't know what I'm going I really don't like I really don't know what to do if, if I'm saying I think I broke my leg and you're yelling at me you, that's not gonna help me stop crying that's not gonna help me like calm down it's just gonna make me more overwhelmed so so yeah so she's yelling and like I'm trying to find my phone my cousin I don't know where she is so I'm freaking out because I'm like oh my god I can't say I can't like get in trouble like what happened like what if she got lost because she wasn't there for a minute i didn't see her i didn't see her face all i saw was a bunch of kids around me like oh my god are you okay and this lady yelling above me and telling me to get up 
So she's like, where do you live? Like, I've never seen you before. And I'm just like, I live up the street. And she was like, I've never seen you before. I'm the mom of this whole neighborhood. I'm the mom of the kids who don't have a mom. And I've never seen you before. And where do you live? And and I was like, where's my cousin? Where's my phone? And she was like, if you're really hurt, you shouldn't be asking where your phone is or where your mom is. And I'm like, like, at first, I'm like, okay, she's just maybe overwhelmed. She doesn't know me. But when she said that, I was kind of like, and she just kept yelling. And after that, I kind of, and she was like, I can't touch you. I can't touch you because I'm a nurse and I'm not trying to lose my license. Like, who let you just come out of here? And she was just talking like, and she was like, why are you crying? Like, why are you crying? And like, she was like, if you're, you're must be okay if you, and she was just not helping. She was not helping at all, at all, at all. She was not helping. And so finally I say, ma'am, you're not happy yet. I'm talking to, I call my mom and I'm like, mom, I think I broke my foot. And she's like, where are you? And I'm like, I I'm, I'm down the street from the house. And she's like, okay, I'm gonna call to like, come get you. And that's my cousin. That's my dad's cousin, not my dad's cousin, but that's my mom's cousin. Okay. And so she was like, I'm gonna call your cousin's dad to come get you. So he's my cousin. And so we're waiting and the lady's still yelling she's still yelling. okay so yeah so i ran straight into it she's yelling she's yelling she's yelling she's yelling she's yelling and she's just and i'm like and i'm like you're not helping and i said i was like you're not helping and she's like okay fine i'll leave and she didn't really leave and there was this man his name was i forgot his name but we're gonna call him b and so my cousin comes from the house like they were all in the house all the adults were in the house my mom's at work and so she comes off work to come like see what i'm talking about and so apparently the whole time i was i was like where's my cousin where's my cousin she went to she she went back to our house and i she she's very observant because i would not have known where i was at and i would have been lost but she went back over my house and got my cousin her dad and he rolled back on my bike or on her bike or it was something like it wasn't my bike it had to be her bike so he rolled back on her bike and he was like what happened and he hears this lady yelling and he gets on the phone with my mom and i'm still on the phone with my mom okay so she stays there and she's just talking and talking and then my cousin comes and he come gets me and this man we gonna call him b he's he like drove by and he was trying to figure out like what happened and he let us because i was riding on a bike he let me in the car and he drove me up to the house and that was like really nice of him i've been needing to see him around the neighborhood but i haven't seen him but that was really nice of him and then he dropped me off at the house and then i waited till my mom got off and then after that i had um after that i had uh went to the hospital okay so she stays there and she's just talking and talking and then my cousin comes and he come gets me and this man we gonna call him b he's he like drove by and he was trying to figure out like what happened and he let us because i was riding on a bike he let me in the car and he drove me up to the house and that was like really nice of him i've been needing to see him around the neighborhood but i haven't seen him but that was really nice of him and then he dropped me off at the house and then I waited till my mom got off. And then after that, I had, um, after that, I had, uh, went to the hospital. And I was crying the whole time. Like, it hurt to walk. It hurt to everything. It hurt to even move it. So I was crying the whole time. And then we got to the hospital. And it was like, what? Did you get, like, run over by a car or something? I was like, no, it was a bicycle incident. And it was like, a bicycle incident? You were riding a bike? And I guess they were thinking, because, like, how old I am, like, you you ride bikes? And so, they get there, and they have to take, I had my socks on, and they had to take my sock off. And I regretted this. I was like, I do not want them to take my sock off. I do not want them to take my sock off. And then the nurse, she puts a thing on it, and she's like, and they did a MRI. And it was like, yeah, it's sprain. But there's nothing else wrong. I had to get a, a sling for my shoulder, because apparently I hurt my shoulder, too. 
and yeah that was it so i hope you guys enjoyed the story time make sure you like comment subscribe and i hope you guys have a great day and more story times coming on the way have you guys ever broken a bone let me down let me know down below in the comments and turn on my post notifications just in case so you don't miss another video bye